So my original video was supposed to be about the makeup holiday releases that just came out, but then a couple of other things came in that I ordered that I really wanted to just put in one video. So now this is a few of my favorite things, just like in The Sound of Music. So I needed a new stand for paper towels and I only like shopping at Williams Sonoma. So I went on Williams Sonoma and I found this copper one and it's handmade in Turkey. It's so beautiful. Turkey has some amazing artisans and they work with obviously copper a lot. And I saw this and I was like, oh, I love this one. It is so pretty. So I picked this up and it came in today. And then I also wanted a different butter dish than what I have. So I have a Le Crusette one and I just wanted to have a little bit fancier butter dish. So I saw this one also um, handmade in Turkey. And it does have the lining for tin so that you don't get poisoned. And then this is a very light glass. The glass is very, very, very thin. At first I was like, <laughs> I was like, is this plastic? And then I was like, no, it's just a very, very light glass, but she is so beautiful and I can't wait to put them together. So let's go into, um, it, these aren't, this is not a holiday. So Sicily is doing their friends and family, which is 20% off. Sicily is very expensive. Um, I love Sicily products and I figured I would pick up some some Sicily while well, there was a 20% off. What did they send? So he sent a couple of things and I'm going to give them to a friend. I hear they have a really good skincare line. I don't actually use it. I have uh, another line that I use. So I picked up some, I think it was only lip products this time. So I picked up some lip products and these are them. So let's take a look. So this is one nude in the photo lip twist. Mm, okay, this has like no pigment. Alrighty then. It's a pretty color if it had like, I don't know, pigment. Okay. I guess it's more of like a lip balmy kind of thing with a slight, I don't know. <laughs> All right, Let's see what else I got. So these are lip glosses. This is in Moon and Venus. So we will try Moon. I saw, what do I see where this, this is the packaging by the way. It's how cute. Okay, yeah, this is my jam. Yep. <laughs> this did not fail me. <laughs> this did not fail me at all. Okay, yes. This is Moon. I'm, I may have to pick up a second one because I'm gonna go through it. I know I am. I'm gonna be like two months later. I need a new one. <laughs> and I don't know if I saw, showed, I have no idea if I showed you guys the packaging for the, I don't know what's up with this zebra thing they got going on. I mean, I wouldn't. All right, this is Venus. This was supposed to be like a more of a darker color. You can kind of see it. If I put it too close to the camera, 
it'll get distorted, but okay, I think I'm gonna, so this is a more bronzy, actually I like this. This is a more bronzy shade. This is my favorite. <laughs> moon it's called moon so for those of you who want to get this now is the time to do it because it is they're doing their friends and family 20 percent off i may actually go and pick up a couple of things i haven't cut a couple of more things i haven't decided i don't love the entire line my favorite is their loose powder and literally i will buy that over and over and over i hope they never discontinue it it's my favorite loose powder. I know I have a lot of loose powders, but that is my number one favorite loose powder. And I get the shade one, which has a kind of a shimmer to it. So I picked up the Dior part of their holiday. Now, I, I did not like their collection for fall I picked up one blush and it was the pink one that you guys saw and when I used it it had really bad pigment and Chanel I didn't like their pigment for their blush which was that lavender one it was awful it literally is probably more like a pressed powder and I'm fair and it's very chalky and those those were the only two things that I picked up I have not been buying Chanel eyeshadows anymore because they don't have any pigment in them and I'm wasting, you know, 70, 80, $90 for a palette of four shadows that have no pigment whatsoever. And I don't want to do that anymore until they change, rechange their formula because they changed it until they do that. I'm not buying their stuff anymore. Dior did the same thing. They changed their blushes and their eyeshadows. I, this was the first, new uh what do you call it the, the new out of the formulation that i tried and it was very it was that pink one it i wore it yesterday barely had any you know and i'm fair okay so if it has no pigment if nothing is really coming on it's a problem so it is a very like watercolor and I prefer a lot more pigment. So uh, I didn't get, I was going to get the Dior eyeshadows for the fall, but they sold out so quickly. I couldn't get my hands on any of them. So I didn't get a chance to try those. And that's, you know, it, it is what it is, but I'm kind of glad I didn't now because I didn't like the blush. So if I didn't like the blush, I'm probably not gonna like the eyeshadow. I love the Dior Addict Lip Maximizer. I have a bunch of colors. They came out, this is the fall, I think, or no, this is part of the holiday collection. So it's Celestial Purple 072. It is only available at Dior. So I picked it up at Dior. I didn't like any of the other part of the holiday. And this is basically a clear gloss. It really doesn't have any shimmer and it has a very, very light, like gray tint. It's not like this. I thought this was gonna be more purpley, a little bit more sparkly, because if you see in the bottle, it's gonna be, it has a lot of sparkle to it. It did not, it's okay. I can top it on something else, but I wish it had more pigment. I don't understand. These things are very expensive and to not have any pigment in them is absolutely ridiculous. And these are made in Italy. So it's not like they're not made at amazing factories for makeup. This is Twinkle. So this is a liquid lip. And I love the packaging for the liquid lip for the Christmas, Christmas holiday. This is a very, um, you want to shake it by the way, before you do this, uh, it, it's nude, but it's a really weird undertone and it's got a little bit too much of a yellow undertone. I wish it didn't. Where am I going to put her right here? 
you really need to shake it up. So, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a nasty yellow undertone on this. And they really should have put like a little bit more pink rather than yellow. When you let this dry down and you kind of press your lips together, you it will get all sparkly. I wonder if I can mix this one and this one and maybe... See, it's got a nice sheen to it though. These are beautiful. I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna see what colors I like and I'm probably gonna order more of these. This one, I'm not sure, but this looks okay. It's the, more of a balmy and I really don't like balms, but uh, it's not bad. This is my favorite. I wish this just had, it's got a nice sheen to it, but it doesn't have any color to it. So this, once it's dried down and you press, let's see if it will do it. Nope. <laughs> Okay, that didn't work. Um, am I gonna get, yeah, no. So, but when you put it on your lips, it does. I did open this up obviously before and I wore it yesterday and I did press my lips together and it did give this nice little sparkle. So again, this is the, the first one is the Sicily in the nude. The second one is the lip gloss in Moon. The third one is Venus. The fourth one is the Dior Addict in that celestial purple. It's not really purple. And then this, of course, is the liquid lip in the twinkle. All right, so we are going to move along. So Valentino released a holiday perfume called Valentino. Born in Roma, the gold, Ed Parfum. And it, I think it only comes in the 3.4 ounces. Now I have three of the different Born in Roma. So when I saw the gold be released, just a, not even a week ago, I guess, at this point, I lost my mind and I bought it immediately. Now it wasn't, it had sold out on Valentino, like immediately. So I couldn't get it on Valentino. So I was like, okay, who may have it? And Sephora had it in store only, which means they didn't have a lot of stock on this because uh, they weren't offering it online at that particular time. I don't know if they are now, but they weren't then. And Ulta had it in store and online. So I bought it at Ulta. It is so, this, I have, first of all, I love Valentino perfumes before I even open this. I love Valentino perfumes. I have three of them. I have the Born in Roma, the pink one, and then I have the Born in Roma Intense, and then I have the Born in Roma, there's like a citrusy one that I have that my nephew was like, we were in Sephora smelling perfumes, and he's like, Auntie, you should buy that one, and I was like, yep okay, I'm going to buy it. And I bought all three. So, uh, I am a huge Valentino fan. I love their perfumes. So when I saw this, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I'm buying this. I don't even care if I don't like the smell. It just so happens. I actually really like the smell, but I was going to buy this regardless of whether it smelled nice or not, because I wanted the bottle. Look at that. What? What? Look at this. Look at the, uh, oh, for real? Like seriously, oh my God. 
This bottle is so beautiful. And I have like a perfume closet where I keep my perfume. But I'll tell you, if I didn't like this, I would have had this on my vanity because it just is such a good look, but I don't want this to degrade in any way. So it's going, it's going in my perfume closet. So unless you go into that closet, you're not seeing this, which is so shameful. I wish he would not make this a limited edition. I was so upset. I was like, are you kidding me? It's a limited edition. This is the only bottle because, you know, perfume does go bad after a while. So, you know, you can't keep a backup of perfume. This is 3.4 ounces. It takes me at least a couple of years to go through a perfume. And even then I don't, right? So, oh, I'm in love with it. And you know, I just started becoming one of those perfume collectors. Oh my God, it smells so good. I was never, you know, I had three or four that I really liked and then I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden I started collecting fragrance. I don't know, I don't know what happened. And now all of a sudden I have a fragrance closet. I don't get it. I don't understand what happened. So the other Valentinos are more of like a, <coughs> oh my God, as I inhaled it, <coughs> woo, uh, are in a, a more of a spicy scent. And this, I don't want to say it's a floral scent, but it is a strange scent. It's got some floral, but it's got some spiciness to it. I don't know. I really like it. I mean, when they call it gold, they really mean gold simply because it smells like gold. Like if you imagine what gold would smell like, this is it. It's so beautiful. I love the packaging. Look at this. Come on. Ugh. Especially like the gold Valentino, right? I just, this is amazing. I want to put it on my, I want to put it on my makeup vanity. And I can't because I don't want to ruin the perfume. But this is so pretty. Oh, I love this. Look at the detail up here. with the little spikes. I love it so much. I just, they can't, they cannot discontinue this. This cannot be an actual real limited edition item. It is too beautiful. All right, we're gonna move along to Charlotte Tilbury's limited edition, sort of, <laughs> sort of limited edition holiday items. So Charlotte Tilbury came out with her holiday items. These are re-released from last year and these sold out absolutely immediately. Like I couldn't get my hands on them at all. So I was <laughs> so glad when they released them this year, I snagged these two. These were the two shades I wanted. I ended up getting two other shades, which I like, but I don't really use. I wanted these shades. So, I am so glad she re-released these. I wish she would just keep them out. So these are the hypnotizing pop shots. I actually really like the formula. And they come in this cute little Charlotte Tilbury with the little crystals. How pretty is that? The formula is really good. Look at that. What? I know. Tell me that's not amazing. Just, oh my God, I love it so much. So yeah, I wanted these. I'm glad I have them. I'm glad she brought them back. I wish she just would keep them and not just bring them out for holiday. And this one is Cosmic Rocks. And this one has like this interesting blue per I'm not trying to give you the finger well some people I'm giving the finger to but um it's a blue purple shift which is weird because yeah it is I don't know if it, you can pick it up on my hand but it is showing the shift oh 
you always have me at blue eyeshadow. I don't know if it was because I was born in the 70s and grew up in the 80s and that's why I love blue eyeshadow so much, but I love sky blue eyeshadow. It's so sad. So this is her new Beautyverse palette. So gorgeous. I didn't get last year's. Last year's had some issues with pigmentation and I'm it's still available I may pick it up just because there's this like silver color that I really like but I'd only be buying it for like that one color I try not to do that but isn't that so pretty so it comes with this thing that tells you what all the shades are So pretty. Okay, so I'm doing the three bottom row first and you can already see my fingerprint. So this has, and this are probably the shades that have the most pigment. This one does not, this middle one. It feels like a topper more than a, yeah, this one's more gritty. I like the more gritty. Oh, hi. Okay, this does have pretty good pigment to it. <laughs> what? I know. So this shade is this shade. This shade is this shade. And this shade is this shade. That's insane. All right, let's do the next row. Okay, so the next we're doing these shades and you can already see <laughs> my fingers so kind of ruined. So that's this shade and this shade and that shade. This is so much more pigmented than last year's and that's why I didn't get last year's because the pigment wasn't wasn't good. All right, so we're gonna do the last row now. All right, so this is the last three top. This isn't bad at all. Okay, so this shade is this one, and this shade is that one, and this shade is that one. No, this is a really good palette. I'm so glad I bought this. This has amazing pigment to it, and so do these. Looks like there's a little fallout. And you're gonna get fallout with these, so you're gonna need like a primer, Ugh, eye primer. Yeah, this is a beautiful palette. I am so glad I picked this up. I wasn't sure. I didn't pick up last year's because it had no pigment. This year I was like, I think this has more pigment and it did not disappoint. So yeah, this is a must. I really do. I really feel like this is a must. All right, guys, these are a few of my favorite things. I wanted you guys to see in natural light how amazingly pigmented this is.